want it to face this way. Come on here, come on here, baby. We back at it. This is Kevin, my main Juice, my main Q. I got my man Isaac and Robert up in the house. I'm gonna introduce them real quick now, but before we do that, remember, we're at the Catalyst on the side of Santin, or shall we say in the heart of Santin? Or in the rib. Or in the rib of Santin. <laughs> Greater Valley, man, if you want to come check it out, it's a lovely, lovely little place. 100 uh, Pretoria Road in Greater Valley, in Santin. That's where we are. The new home of the premier basketball show, The Break. But before we go anywhere, let me introduce you to our distinguished guests. I got my man, Robert. He is the GM of the Catalyst. So the next time you come around here and you talk basketball, you're probably going to get a discount, but we're going to talk about it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> My man Isaac, he is the director of Operations Africa, and that is Rock Nation. If you think he hasn't met Jay-Z, he's met Jay-Z, talked business with Jay-Z, and uh, the next time we do the break, we're going to be in New York, Rockefeller, 4040 Club, 4040 Club. Yeah. Don't say Rockefeller. Don't say Rockefeller. Rock Nation. Rock Nation. Ah, okay. Yeah, you know, I'm old school like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it's going to be beautiful. But as per the tradition, thank you to Rock Nation for bringing us the very first Ace of Spades. Premier. Yeah. And that's not for show. We're going to pop it right now. And hey, Without wasting any time. The slightly different. I'm going to go girl. Pop it and you better be in there so they know we are popping this thing and drinking it right here, right now. Hey, come back closer. Closer. Pop it in TV. Hey, let's see. Let's see her pop it real quick. Courtesy of Rock Nation. Isaac. Thank you very much for coming out to the show, my man. This is a, a true blessing. It's actually, it's actually, this is a brotherhood. It's a That's brotherhood. Right. And we talked about it a couple Absolutely. years ago. It's, it's, I mean, like, not even. Since 2013, since I first came in South Africa and beyond, this is a brotherhood. We're here where we are, but we're not standing still. We have a direction, we have goals and objectives Come on now. that are going to be met without any hurdles. Because if you're a hurdle, we're going to knock you down. Come on now. Come on now. Don't worry about it. Come on now. That's why. Right. Explain it. Come on now. now. She, she has She's scared about the fact that you wasted time. No, you don't have to. That's a everybody, every, dollar spill, bro. Everybody knows Ace of Spades. That's the way to pop it. That's I the mean, way to pop it. That's the way to pop it. That's the way to pop it. That's the way to pop it. Ace of Spades, baby. Ace of That's what we do, what we do, what we do, baby. You know what I mean? Make sure that you pull each and every one of us a little sip <laughs> so we can celebrate this amazing, amazing partnership. And you know, Isaac, back in the day, man, you know, I think it was three, four years ago, we sat down, we talked about what it is that we need to do in South Africa Absolutely. about basketball, about Absolutely. all the things that we do. You know, the thing, how we build this thing, brick Absolutely. by brick, you know? And, and I, I know you are on Facebook talking about this thing all the time, and right now we're here talking about the brick, building basketball brick by brick. What do you have to say about that? Let me first say, um, Congratulations to everybody, but it's not a congratulations to say you've made it. When you're on a highway and you see a sign to Santin, you don't stop there and say, hey, I'm in Santin. It's real. It's just a sign. It's, it's pointing you to a destination. You don't just stop there. This is a sign taking us to better promises right. and, 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 and a better existence for basketball because basketball has not had a great existence. And I want to congratulate you three pioneers. And the production team. Production team. The sheriff. How you guys have been so, you've been chess players. You've been thinking ahead. And you're not even ahead of time. You're in time. It's real. And I want to thank you guys because we've needed this. You're a breath of fresh air for people who have lost a bit of oxygen in breathing. You're a breath of fresh air, and I want to thank you and congratulate you. My man, my man. Now that, that was it's amazing. Real. That, that, that was really that was, that's, that's so how you to But also, but also uh, we're here because of this gentleman. He saw, he saw the vision. 100%. And I think I want him to say one or two words 100%. right next to you. Why, why did you choose, or not even choose, why did this make sense for the Catalyst for us to be here? Wow, well, first of all, because I'm a basketball fan. Oh, well, 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 well,
myself, but I sucked. You only, <laughs> you only realize you suck when you get older, right? You, you, you are going to do it for the girls. But it was quite cool. But uh, when I met him, he just sort of pitched it real quick about what it's about and the type of people that I'm In five of, uh, minutes, it was like, let's do this. It was literally a five-minute conversation, and then we just decided, okay, we're going to partner for now and see where this takes us. And uh, here we are. And so thank you to you guys to, for bringing this show to Catalyst. We four months old, um, so it's good to have you guys here. You're sort of like the first thing we've done production level. So yeah. new, new, new everything. New everything. New everything, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I think this right here is the perfect toast. time to toast Absolutely. because everything is new, everything is fresh. The ball is coming. The ball qualifiers, oh, no, B A L qualifiers yes. coming to town, and I think the whole thing about what it is that we're making a big noise about is so that we can actually eventually host the actual tournament. Because right now Rwanda is, is hosting it, and from the talks that I've had last year, Rwanda made half a billion dollars just from people coming out. A little more. It's like a whole, mm -hmm. a little more. Half a billion dollars was okay. Maybe I gotta get those stats right, Mr. Stats. You need to help me with this. I mean, I don't have the stats. Kind of stats. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had them. But yeah. imagine if we were hosting it. I mean, obviously, this place will be full of basketball fans because this is what we're gonna be pushing, and we want this thing to be a regular. If you're a basketball fan, you're listening to this show. You need to come out to the Catalyst. You need to live. You need to stay here. You need to support the brands that support you, and the fact that. We here. This will be my first time tasting Ace of Space, by the way. Even touching the bottle. I'm gonna like worry about it from now on. on. Yeah. From now on. The bricks. That's the thing with it. The bricks. That's the thing with it. Ace of Space. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, man. To the bricks. To the bricks. To the bricks. Unfortunately, production doesn't get to taste it, but um, wow. thank you very much, man. It's been amazing. Robert, whenever you thank want you. to have this conversation, you must come out here, we must sit you down, you must tell us what it is that you love about basketball and what, what brick you can bring to this He's show. already brought a brick. Okay. Okay. He's already brought a brick. Absolutely. I'll, I'll, but he I'll, loves to I'll, I'll come feature one of your shows and you can speak a little bit. Absolutely. 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 Thank you very much for being on the show. Nice meeting you, yes. gentlemen. Thank, thank you for hosting us. Thank, thank, thank you so, so much it's for coming through. Thank you, Of course. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Cheers, man. Right. right. That was tradition, that's what we're supposed to do as part of the break, but now we're gonna get right into it. My man, I know you played ball, I know you had some nice little moves inside, so tell us about where you're from, why basketball, where you had with basketball, before we get into the Rock Nation world. Absolutely, first of all, everybody that's watching, it's a pleasure, and thank you for, um, for tuning in. So, my history is, I'm, I'm one out of 10, so I have a whole basketball family, everybody played ball, um, if you hear my accent, you're like, oh my God, I have an African last name, but an American accent. Oh, okay. <laughs> Spot on. Product, okay, that's what you call product <laughs> placement. <laughs> my man in the stand. Gotta do it. <laughs> so, you hear I have an accent. Um, I will, my family is originally from East Africa, Uganda and Rwanda. And raised, my whole life raised in the United States in Boston. Gotta represent 617 B Town. Um, <laughs> sure how to fill up our nation, right. um, So, I grew up in a family environment, basketball environment, um, and that has been my life. Um, my sister, my, my oldest sister is one that taught me basketball. And when I thought I was nice, she'll come beat me down outside and I'll cry and rain, rainy water. And I'll be like, dang, I wish I was good because she was, she'll get picked over me with the guys. You know what I mean, my older sister. She, and so, good. oh no, she nice. Oh, she nice. She taught me. She taught me the crossover. She taught me everything. You know what I mean. And sometimes she tries to expose me on social media. And I be like, yo, I taught you everything about basketball. Why you ain't telling everybody that? <laughs> That's not simply love. That's a good love. time to do it so, right now. Yeah. So, I'm um, this clip. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, I, so basketball has always been a gateway to not only get out the community that that consists of drugs, violence, jail, um, alcohol abuse, everything you name it, the social ills that mess up a lot of our communities. Take not nothing only, away. <laughs> not, not only, not only in, in the US, but also in South Africa. So it was, has always been a gateway for us to probably achieve a free education or the bag, in other words, to get the bag, you know? And so we use basketball as that, as that way and I was fortunate enough to use it as a way to create great relationships such as this. And that journey took me down here to South Africa, 
And that journey happened because of one person and one person only, that's Quentin. And also Nkumi, I gotta give a shout out to Nkumi as well. Um, so I've always had women attributes contribute to my basketball growth and my journey in life. Journey. Absolutely. You know, so there's, Absolutely. one can't go without the other. Absolutely. And I gotta thank both Quentin and Nkumi for bringing me out to South Africa, um, playing for, of course, of course, Polokwane Trailblazers, the best team, the team that pretty much Damien started almost everything after the PBL and so forth, yo. And you know, that Respect. started in terms of the branding and bringing, introducing foreign players to come in that had amplification, because I came from Big Brother Africa. And Quentin was like, listen, man, let's, let's change our reality here in South Africa when it comes to basketball. And I was like, listen, I don't even care. Y'all don't even gotta pay me. I'm gonna do this pro bono. I'm gonna play for you because I love your vision. I love your goals and objectives. And I love, I love creating an impact into a society that needs it. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm over here, This man. was like, it was like <laughs> a whole here, big break. But man, Absolutely. I think, I think I've, I've seen your passion exude in some of the comments and the discussions that are happening on social media. And, and the passion to see basketball grow lives in you. And I think it's something that I've seen with a couple guys that are around us here now and many other people. I mean, what do you think about basketball in South Africa? In terms of... A little louder. What, what, everybody got to hear you. Got to yeah. go a little louder. Right. What, what do you think? Uh -huh. You heard me, Brad? I, I said, what do you think? Uh -huh. Preach! About basketball in South Africa in terms of the potential because we no way close to potential. And, and the um, thing that, that pisses me off right. about this whole thing is we keep talking about potential. I, hate that I can't, I can't I remember lie. the last time I said basketball is amazing. I mean, that was when I was playing in the 90s. And basketball was amazing. You had like, you know, like uh, Nando's uh, tournament, three or three tournament, three or three back then. And I told and you we're doing three plugs. It was the price. It was this. It was the telco. It was the. It was absolutely. It was absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like you lighted them, yeah. So why, why, why do you still have this belief that maybe there's something? So I want to tackle something real quick. Quentin just said he doesn't like that word potential, but you have to. That's you have to understand, we at Rock Nation, we have a slogan, greatness is a process. If you don't like potential, you don't like process. Mm. Everything has to have a process. See, I'm going to come in because they're going to say, hold on, hold on. I said, it's your time. Hold on, it's your time. The, the process. You got you to gotta, you gotta like process. Mm. And South Africa has a one up in that process compared to the continent. Facts. Infrastructure. Facts. You have infrastructure and you have corporate support when there's good governance. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about governance earlier. <laughs> that caveat is a big one. Yeah. You have corporate support when there's good governance. Preach. A lot of African other countries in Africa don't have corporate support but have I won't say good governance, but better governance. Absolute preach. So, South Africa has a great facility. You have a court almost everywhere, but in South Africa, the courts are hidden. It's like a secret society. Basketball courts are like a secret society, and if you're not signed up to that secret society, you're not tapping into it. So. When you have that kind of aspect here in South Africa, and you have all the biggest corporate companies that have all the dollars, the RAND is not as powerful as some other countries, but the RAND can dictate how other countries manifest their dollars. That's right. That's right. Or their RAND. That's right. The that's, the reason, sport. that's the reason why you have Santa where we are right now. In the rim, the rim, rim, the 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 rim. Of Santa, a where, where they can dictate a lot when it comes to sports. Mm. You know, South Africa has the potential to be like the United States in terms of sports, especially basketball. Let me say that again, because I don't, I don't know if y'all heard me. Come on, they, man. They, South they, Africa right, has the potential That's and right. the reality to compete like the United States. It's in Preach. the process. You have rugby players who are 
14 years old, 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, mm, of course. 110 kgs. We ain't even looking at water power Power forward what? And legs. Oh, point, point, and legs. The size of both of my little skinny legs. <laughs> facts, facts. They don't miss leg day. <laughs> they don't miss leg day. <laughs> but because of how the system is here, they're forced to go play rugby. Yes, that's right. But if you go to every school, you ask them, you ask kids, what is your favorite what sport? You They'll say basketball. basketball. They'll say basketball. Let them know. The genetic pool here is fantastic. I know there's some people that have, that are short, but are skilled. Mm. And then you have some people like Moose, mm. who are 6'9", could be a guard, could be whatever they want to be, and compete with anybody in the world. Just need a good, good coach. It's just good coaching. No, it's not even, it's, 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 good coaching is fine. You can have a good coach. You gotta want it. Yep. Come on, man. <laughs> you, Come gotta, on. you gotta want it. Come on, man. If you have a degree of complacency, mm. nah, I'm good, I love it. I wanna be a, you know, let me first start Wembley All-Star. Mm. <laughs> let facts. me start Full Court All-Star. That's facts. Let me start with Mumble Lodi uh, Tournament yeah. All-Star, yeah. Eastern yeah. Tournament All-Star. Yeah. If that's what you happy with, that's where you're gonna be. But if you want to follow and submit, to the process of greatness, man. you know that now, nah, fam. You have to dig I want deep. more, I gotta go deep. I want more. South Africa can't hold me. I want more. Wow. So, so let's right. talk about Rock Nation, man. Let's talk about it. Wow. But that was You're involved. The next level pushing right You're involved with a lot of sports. You get to see Absolutely. governance and yeah. procedure and process Absolutely. and the way that they even develop, nurture, procure. So I'm talking about Absolutely. from development through to governance through to the, the way the sport is administrated, the way that it's marketed. What's, what would it take for interest from, because you spoke, you, you, you mentioned it earlier, so it's definitely governance, but what would it take right now for us to secure a sponsor as in, in the basketball community for either a team like the Tigers or the Josie Nuggets or the Goli Magic, for argument's sake, or just basketball Beautiful. South Africa to get something going? Beautiful. Let me ask you a question. Would you ever run into a burning house? No. If my daughter was there, yeah. Well, to save my wife, maybe. No, it's not your house. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not your house. But would you ever run into a burning house? If it's my job. No, no, I'm kidding. I have to no. drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a sip too after you sit there. Because, yeah, yeah. I had absolutely, absolutely. The reason why I said a burning house is because fire is an agent of purification. The basketball culture here needs to get purified. You can't purify unless something gets burned. That's a, you, we're here in South Africa, the land of minerals, the land of gold, diamonds, everything. Look at the purification process of that which the world marvels at. Diamond, basketball here has to get purified. It's a burning. So I wouldn't run into a burning house because I know that it has to get purified first. I'm here, I'm watching the purification process, but it has to get purified. That's right. It has all the potentials. It has the foundation. The foundation's right here. The foundation's right here. The foundation's right here. But it has to still get purified. Brick by brick. And that purified starts brick by brick. It includes better practice, how to understand the business aspect of the sport. You see, you can't understand the business aspect of the sport from only up top. Mm. And nobody else understands the business aspect of the sport. You can't say you want to be a manager of a club, but you don't know how to manage and have your club be self-sustaining. You can't be reaching out begging where you have the most important resource, which is the athletes, which is the players. The reason why the NBA is probably the best governing sporting body is because the, the players themselves have a voice. Mm -hmm. And the NBA realizes that without that voice, we'll be null and void. 
when sport bodies and federations understand that, are we good to go? The purification the play, process is already the there. The player is the product. The player is, is, is the product. If you don't the take care of the product, the, absolutely. You, you don't have any. Imagine not. Imagine having a field of corn, but you never water it or anything. But yet you want to make pop. It will. <laughs> it will wither. Pop corn. It will wither. Corn, corn, yeah. <laughs> corn on the pop. But you don't take care. It will wither and die. Absolutely. That's for sure. Absolutely. For sure. Wow. Man, this is like next level education, <laughs> higher learning, educational <laughs> conversation. These are the sort of conversations. This is the kind of brick you know, that you're bringing here. Of course, you know, and this is what we want because along the way we have to have certain reality checks. You know, a burning, and, to and, 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 and a burning house is one picture that will definitely stay and say, oh, snap. Let's retract, let's relook, let's unlearn, and let us re strategize. You know, That's right. I love that. I love yeah. that. Man, this is this is next level conversations. This the truth must be told. No, absolutely. The truth must be told. It cannot be that we always kinda like dilly dallying around the reality of our system. The truth must be told. People must put in the work. Absolutely. And not only by people putting the work, it has to be people who understand what work needs to be done. Absolutely. You need to, you need to play. Absolutely. You need to know. Absolutely. You need to understand. Absolutely. You need to speak to the right people. Absolutely. You need to get engaged. One thing that I've always said, some people have got in this whole system, is to try to do it by, their, by themselves. Yes. If you close it off, you'll only go this way. 100%. If you open it up, like the brick, I get calls. Somebody says, yeah, get me on the brick. The next time they own the brick. This is as democratic as it can be. You, you want to be here, you will be here. As long as you bring in something positive to grow the game. 100%. And that's what the whole system is about. 100%. I I can't agree with you anymore. Um, we all, see, I'm a, as much as you hear my American accent and all that, I'm very in tune with my spirituality. My ancestors and the African, the, I won't say African acity, or, but just, I'm sorry, you're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that, I'm sorry, we're we gonna talk. I know that we're all, we all have, a spiritual umbilical cord connected to one another. That's right. He adds value to this to this wall, a brick. He adds value to this, another brick. He adds value, another brick. That's the only way you can create a solid foundation. Everybody's connected to one another. The moment you start doing things by yourself is the moment you start to fail. You lose the principles of yourself. You lose the principles of the nature in which you are created. See, one thing about basketball, you see, basketball teaches life principles. Yeah, facts. Facts and facts. And it's, it's sad that sometimes the people that are in the administration of basketball never really pay, played. Because they would have known the direction they're going, they have either had a pivot or cross over another direction. And that's ball. <laughs> And also Come on, man. And also can <laughs> preach. <laughs> See, the spiritual umbilical cord that he's talking about is also teamwork. Absolutely. I can be a standout player. I can hit 13 threes. I can, I can post up. But this has got to be the service of a, a team structure. The team must out. understand that this is going to help us win. Or Absolutely. we like this to happen. Absolutely. But if the team doesn't like it, or the team doesn't understand, then maybe I should not be a part of that team or I need to change my mentality around what I'm going to be doing for the team. 100%. Uh, 100%. You say the team makes that? It's part dream work, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. Absolutely. Teamwork makes the dream work. Absolutely. And that's, that's, that's the model we use in Rock Nation. Yeah. You'll see on some a lot of emails, no matter where you are on the globe, you're always like, oh wow, well done. Teamwork makes the dream work. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. his dream is our dream. Your dream is our dream. And we connect and the that's dots. How, and that's how you connect the dots. I hope and the Tigers is listening to this right now. Because, yeah, <laughs> I know Rod is going to that. And nobody better believe that. No, 100%. 100%. So tell me about Rock Nation, man. You know, how did you come about? You know, how, how did that happen? And first of all, tell me what Rock Nation is about. Then we can well, talk about how that came about. That dream, was that a dream for you or it just happened? It's so funny. I'm a Jay-Z. I'm a... I'm a Jay-Z fan. Come on now. But even though he's my boss, I'm, I'm, I'm not really supposed to say that. He's not my boss, but he's my colleague um, and, and family member. But 
it's so funny. Throughout my whole life, I always idolize his tenacity, his hustle, and him crossing over and pivoting and doing a up and under and Euro step into the corporate world from music. I've always idolized that and was like, wow, yo, I would love to be like that from a basketball perspective. And it just so happened that I've always been involved in trying to create my own brand and, you know, LK4 and all that stuff to try to get at least um, build my brand. And I, you know, I did it with just the limited knowledge I know about brand building. And and tell them about the fact that Jay-Z also bought some shares in one of the NBA teams. Okay. New Jersey Nets. Yeah, 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 just so that they know. This that we're talking about goes all the way to the top in terms of love of basketball. I right? know, oh, but in the States, everybody knows, like, you can't rap and basketball is, is one of the same. It's, it's, the right. yeah. it's a culture, yeah. it's a lifestyle. Yeah. Know that. It's a, you know, like, a lot of, you know, so funny, a lot of musicians want to be ball players. And a lot of ball players want to be musicians, you know. Like I, you know, I, I sometimes I, 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 I think I can, I can don't, rap. Don't, 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 yeah. don't, don't. Uh, I won't do that. I won't do that. Like, not on this show. Not on this show. Yeah, maybe Damien. Maybe uh, Shell wrote, Shell wrote you fame or something. Yeah. Well, great. But, but the synergy, the synergy has always been there. Facts. The synergy has always been there. Facts. And so just fast forward. In, in my life and my growing and my experiences, I ended up being an, an intern at Global Citizens. And at that time, I already was understanding the market here in South Africa. Oh, I got you. I got, no, I got you. Come on now. I got you. Sorry, sorry, Come sorry, on now. Man, I just thought, you know, oh, wow. I'm not a waiter, though, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just thought, we're a Global Citizen. <laughs> no, yeah, that's what he was doing. He was serving as he was being a Global Citizen. Thank you so much, sir. I'm gonna Absolutely. give one. Of, oh, you gonna do another Hold one? On. All right, let me do it right, like a waiter now. Now I'm gonna do it like a waiter. Hey, <laughs> so space, ladies and gentlemen, it's part of the break show today. I'm featuring. Oh, yeah, right, brother, don't go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's that. That is hilarious. Juicy, juicy money. You gotta love what you do in life. Of course, if, if, man. If listen. you're not loving what you do every day. There's something wrong with your life. Because this right here for me, man. It's just, that's the I've way to do this for free forever. <laughs> but you better pay soon. <laughs> so, so, you know, when you do what you do and you do what you love, yeah. as it says in, in scriptures, seek ye first the kingdom that's within yourself. That's right. Right. I don't even that's have good. to go into that word, whether Allah, whether God, or whatever. When all riches shall be added unto you. When you do what you love and you're doing it with the purest of your heart. That's right. Everything will, 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 will follow you. You ain't got to worry about it. You know? and, and, and struggle is ordained. Yes, sir. You know, and, and some people don't understand that purification process that's needed in basketball. Right. Mm, you know? Come on, man. So, come on, I'll preach. Sorry, I'm sorry. So, 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 so we're going to go back to the, to, to the global citizen. Yeah, global citizen. In, that's where so, at the, so, during Global Citizens, I, I said, you know, let me, let me take this opportunity to sit down with our owner, DJ and Beyonce, and we, like, you know, South Africa is a great market, mm. and it has, it has probably some of the best potential from not only the music standpoint that's given, but also on the sports aspect. And as Rock Nation is growing and stamping its mark and helping inspire and motivate the lives of others and athletes in the world, why not do it also where it's, it's also, I won't say the home of Madiba, but everybody knows South Africa for being a revolutionist country that stood up against apartheid of system of injustice. And in, in, in the U.S., the U.S., especially the black community, we back that. So I, I then was like, okay, um, he was like, I love it. Let me introduce you to our president, Michael Yoba, who's running everything sports related. So I started going back and forth saying, you know, prior to that, you no know, preparation prevents poor performance. So prior to that, I already had a whole PowerPoint pitch. presentation, wow. pitch, everything. You know, like I already was ready, like, it's listen, I know what angle to go to, where to go to from. Obviously the number one sport here in South Africa is football and so forth. And I was like, you know what, it's a no brainer, what and so forth. And then you start t -t 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 going through across the continent. I did that. And just fast forward three years later, I now became the director of operations for all of Africa, not just here in South Africa, but all of Africa. 
and I help well I help well achieve greatness for other athletes and the community. So what does Rock Nation do? So Rock Nation is a movement. A lot of people say agency or so forth. We're a movement. In the traditional sense, we are a we're a career management and philanthropical arm for sports entertainment personalities. So that's that, that's what we are, but we're a movement because we have apparel, as you can see. Paper, 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 paper. My my wife paper. was supposed to bring my hat, but she didn't. You know, she was too. She was busy doing her makeup. She bring my hat, my paper plates hat. You know, paper hats. I know you know what you're doing. This is paper plates. <laughs> wow, this is so nice. <laughs> Hold on, what does it say on the side? What does it say on the side? Which side, this side or that side? On the side here, right here. Can, can you read can it? Can you see that? Hey, I'm getting old, I mean, you know, like this. Uh, after, greatness is a process. Greatness is a process, that's right. Yeah. Greatness is a process. Greatness is a process. Land Rover on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is, this is, this is, when I say we're <laughs> Better recognize. <laughs> when, uh, when I say we're a movement, the reason why we're called Paper Planes is because our owners, it's called, it's the fist, the five owners. Jay Brown, Juan Perez, Desiree Perez, Jay-Z, and Ty Ty. When, and they call it the fist. Um, so, when they were growing up, they used to throw a paper plane in Marcy Projects on the top of the rooftop. And one day they'll get out the hood and they'll be living examples to inspire hope and inspiration in the community. But not just in the community in New York, but all over the world. And that's the reason why Paper Planes is the story of, the story started, of yeah. which obviously was started, which was started and sparked by Emery Jones. Shout out to you, Emery, my guy. Emery. You know what I mean? So, so that is that is Rock Nation. And we're not trying to be the biggest agency. No, it's not about that. It's quality. We're a small boutique family. We're a small boutique movement. Those that want greatness and align and align with our goals and objectives and have like for instance, case in point, Sia Khaleesi who's come from nothing, a guy that was playing rugby with no shoes, to now the most influential person in rugby, over CEOs, over executives, everything. When you follow that journey and you want greatness for yourself, because you know it's not for yourself. It's for your community you grew up with, those who look up, at, look up to you, black, white, Chinese, Asian, doesn't matter where you're from. When you want greatness and you know that to submit into that process, you're gonna accomplish anything. Then that's rock nation. So let's talk about that. And I know you guys got a lot of uh, questions, but I wanna I wanna ask you that. Right? So so tell me who are you representing in terms of South Africa rock and maybe uh, so don't worry about what the noise of the fact. This is a lifestyle show, so the bar is doing some things. We're at the cashew. And it's okay. Don't worry about that, it's okay. So don't say, oh, this show, it's a little noisy. Nah, no, it's supposed to be like this. So I was about to say, I was about to uh, ask you a question now. It's a, uh, who are the, the personalities you assign? So, uh, I'll do an order. Um, we, we started with Sia Colisi. The Sia Colisi. Oh, yes. Can, my captain, my captain. Yeah. Ches and Colby. Yep. Ten Diamond Mutuarera. Yep. The beast. the beast. The Beast. The Beast. We then went to. Let me just do all the athletes first. Then we went to Apalele Fasi, mm. Spoon Corsi. This is a lot of rugby. That's what you got to know. Yeah. Spoon Corsi. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's, that's a good point. No, for now. I'll, for now. I'll, for now. For now. I'll, I'll, I'll go to one. So what, what I'm saying is, people must just understand that we're not mentioning names you know in case you don't watch rugby like me. <laughs> this is rugby players. I've heard of some of these names. I'm not a big bas uh, rugby player or rugby fan. I'm a basketball through and through. I watch play and only watch basketball. But anyway, let's go. Bongi and Somi. The Nepal. Nepal, Nepal cabinet. Nepal. Oh, there you go. Then we, went, then we, we have a few other announcements that's going to happen before Christmas, which you'll see. Then we went into 
sporting bodies and, and, and clubs um, who are our consulting and commercial pin partners. Mama Lodi Sundowns, the Mama Lodi Sundowns. African champions. African champions. Owned by, the 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 owned by the billionaire Patrice Motep, if you don't know. Who has a great relationship with Rock Nation, hence Global Citizens. Thank but you. if you can't click the connect it, the dots, I'll do it for you. And the Durban South Sea Sharks. Facts. Right. And we have another announcement. We're getting involved in another federation to change the reality. And those are our partners. And in the entertainment world, anything, any, or any potentials or people that you think, you know, I'm actually interested? I, I actually have somebody waiting for me right now, but I can't really say it. Okay. Wow. Okay. Are you, are you guys involved? intending to maybe Absolutely. sign? Um, my goal is to bring I'm a Piano to the world. Oh. Hello, I'm a are Piano. You, are you looking to sign a PowerPoint forward guard? I think the beard, you know, like, you. Know, that's the question that's coming from that side. Well, of course. Well, the thing is, he has an agent, so I can't sign him. <laughs> Just before he even asked, I just need to get it out of the way. I need to get it out of the way. I don't, I don't Thanks, want to be approaching. I don't want to be approaching. Is there South Africa? There is. Well, so we have, obviously, we have uh, Precious Achuwe. We have, we have, we have um, Afuru Kaminu. We have, we have African basketball talent. Um, and we have a few others. Obviously, we have those that are connected to the continent. Imani Bates. Um, right now, and, and it's hot. And he's yeah, yeah, he's hot. Yeah, but he's, we're about to make him hotter. Um, but our goals and objectives is, of course, to not take the talent here, but enrich the talent here. Um, we have a great relationship with NBA Africa and the Basketball African League, um, which, um, knock on wood, though I don't really, you know, believe in that, but knock on wood. Um, you'll see some of the great relationships that's going to come from that. Um, so, the continent has always been a focal point to our owners. We're excited to see the, the, the massive potential and what's going to happen. So, there was once conversation or maybe curiosity that some of the athletes that are being signed up might just be past their prime. What do you have to say with that? No, there's no. You see, the bad thing is, is athletes, whether basketball, rugby, cricket, when you say I'm past my prime, you don't understand what sports is about. Can you say, can you say that Michael Jordan is past his prime? Mm, I was about to say that he's still that product. All right. Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan because yes. after playing the game. He reached another level of his prime. Continuity. Man. That's what sports, that's what athletes have to understand that, yeah, you can stop playing on the court or on the pitch, but your journey and your legacy continues. Mm. And if you don't solidify that journey and that foundation, then you're going to be begging for TV shows to try to help make you be a host. Mm. <laughs> Come on. And, and I mean, <laughs> Just to further emphasize, Kobe Bryant passed on, but his business still make a billion, still make 400 million for his family. Mm. Is that past his pride, his name still lives. Mm. And Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a, it's a, it's when, a question of how and when. And well, how. when you understand, you see, sports is a, and basketball is, like every other sport, 10% phys, physical and 90% mental and spiritual when you understand when you understand your goals and objectives in life is to create a spiritual and mental impact mm -hmm. on the masses ain't no such thing as death that's right you think jerry west is dead you look at that logo nba logo you see jerry west that's every day that's right He's, your impact is forever I love that. I think that's perfect. <laughs> I love that. This you know what? We're we, we, we we the rest of our show. We <laughs> if you want people to Preach. watch it to the end, <laughs> go on like this. They're probably going to be like, I know. What, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah, it's, it's, I think, it's, I think, it's been thank amazing. You, thank you very much for, for even blessing us with your presence Appreciate here. Appreciate it. The level of, I'm sure you were, you were coming from the airport on your it's way here. from the I, airport. You're busy, man. You're busy, yeah. man. So, no, but I, but I can never be busy for you guys because you guys are innovators, pioneers, been there, done that, and, and I'm standing on y'all's shoulders. 
because you guys created the platform for me to be where I am in life and I appreciate you every day. And that's why I, I, I bring the drink of champions because you're all champions. You guys are champions. That's how we kill this show. <laughs> that's how we kill this show. Ladies and gentlemen, my man Isaac, Q, Pleasure Juice, Kevin, we signing out. Thank you very much. It's been Peace. real. Peace. We at the Catalyst. You want to check it out? Come check it out. Catalyst.co.za. And yeah. One break out of time. One break out of time. Thank you very much for coming out. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, y'all. Cheers, everybody. See you next time. Cheers. 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 Mm.